He's comedy's new rising star. He is the bomb. Jokes, you never get enough of. He jokes all the time. He's smart. He's funny. He's Trenton Davis. I sent everybody in jail over to Afghanistan according to that sentence, you know? I mean, have you seen their resume? Gun charge, gun charge, knife charge. You qualify. <laughs> you can kiss your girlfriend in college, and it's just experiment. <laughs> well, I like his Tyrone one time. <laughs> a fan favorite. Men are simple. Men like stuff you can touch, like legs and breasts. <laughs> Women, you guys like stuff you can't touch, like ambition. <laughs> From Chicago to Hollywood, featuring in over 25 comedy clubs across the U.S. Like, are you gay? I said, no, mom, I'm not gay. Are you gay? No, mom. Are you gay? I said, no, mom. She's like, what's wrong? I said, mom, I think uh, I'm going to marry a white woman. <laughs> she was like, being gay ain't all that bad. <laughs> and <I'm... laughs> He's quickly becoming comedy's new face. He's Trenton Davis. I'm like, hey, I like the shirt. You know? Hey, I like the glasses. Hey, I like your friend. Like, we can... <laughs> After coming off the road, he's finally coming to a club near you. Oh, For booking, email comedy at trentondavis.com. Uh, just so y'all know, I'm from uh, Chicago. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> she don't like me. I don't. I don't live in Chicago no more. I didn't move. I was. Uh, I was kicked out. Because <laughs> apparently, I'm the only Negro uh, that does not like Barack Obama. <laughs> It's cool. I mean, you know, it has nothing to do with politics. Uh, it's just ever since I was a kid, my mom told me I could be first black president. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, like I didn't, I didn't have nothing else to shoot for. Like I didn't have a plan B. You know, like I'm three classes from finishing up at DeVry and he swooped right in. <laughs> Couldn't give a brother heads up or nothing. Barry, you know, it was, you know, it was messed up, you know. I was like, whatever, I don't want to be the first black president anymore. Uh, I got new goals, good Catholic. Uh, I want to be the first black pope. <laughs> yeah, that's power right there. We'll change up communion just a little bit. Uh, no more little shot glasses for communion. We're going to have a pimp goblet. <laughs> With Hennessy, so you can really see the Holy Spirit. Like, you can see it. <laughs> no more little pieces of bread. Um, we're gonna have Wonder Bread. Uh, fried catfish. It's gonna be phenomenal. I like Barack, man. I like Barack being Scott. The only thing with Barack, he said something that upset me the other day. He was like, We don't have enough troops to go to Afghanistan. Like, what do you mean we don't have enough troops? We got two million people in jail. <laughs> I mean, if it was up to me, I sent everybody in jail over to Afghanistan according to that sentence, you know? I mean, have you seen their resume? Gun charge, gun charge, knife charge. You qualify. <laughs> kind of qualify, just a, a little bit, you know? You got five years in jail over here, five years in Afghanistan, give them a gun. You know, ten years over here, ten years in Afghanistan, give them a gun. Death penalty over here, life in Afghanistan, give them a gun. <laughs> a George Bush t-shirt in a bag of rocks, you know, uh, you take care of yourself real quick, man. You know, we need to have real world legislation, you know, real world, like, legislation that impacts us. You know, like, I'm 34, my mom wants me to get married, I'm afraid to get married. That's why I think they should legislate marriage. <laughs> right, I think you should have to get a degree uh, before you get married. Like, if you're going to be with somebody for the rest of your life, you ought to be qualified. Right, like, men, we would have to take classes, like a quality time class. Yeah, you just sit in a room and hate it, just... <laughs> Guys, women, don't be concerned. You guys wouldn't have to take but one class, ladies. Uh, it'd be called silence. Yeah, the professor would walk in and turn on ESPN and open a beer. See how long you can shut the hell up. <laughs> Who's saying, man? It's tough. I'm afraid to get married, man. You know, because men and women are so different. You know, like men are simple. Men like stuff you can touch, like legs and breasts. <laughs> Women, you guys like stuff you can't touch, like uh, ambition, <laughs> potential, good credit. Like, what? what is it? It's 
messed up too, because like you guys can wear a shirt to make your breasts look bigger. <laughs> Nothing I can wear to look more ambitious. Like, uh, <laughs> I can do this in a suit. I'm like, hey, you still look like you went to DeVry. Train. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like men, are, men can look at every woman in this room and find a reason to sleep with you. Like I'm doing it with some of y'all right now. You don't, <laughs> don't even know. I'm like, hey, I like your shirt. You know? Hey, I like your glasses. <laughs> hey, I like your friend. Like we can. <laughs> hey, hey, that just means I want to sleep with you to get to a friend. That's uh, perseverance. <laughs> Women exact opposite. Women can look at every man in this room, find a reason not to sleep with him. <laughs> like some of y'all doing it with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can feel like look at his shoes. He looks like he work outside. I don't like. That. I don't like his sweater. I don't like when black men wear rhubarb. I don't. I don't like his sweater. You see, you know, I don't like his wife. You know, stuff like that. Like, what does my wife have to do with this? Rhubarb looks really nice on me. You know, I'm seeing a shrink. You know, I'm seeing a shrink. That was tough on me. It wasn't tough on me. It was hard on my mom. My mom's from the south. I was like, mom, seeing a shrink. She's like, why, baby? Are you gay? I was like, no. Why is that the first thing you came up with? You know, like, why couldn't I be addicted to heroin? You know, I like jazz. You know, right? And she's like, well, what color sweater do you have on? I was like, rhubarb. What does that have to? She's like, well, gay people use food for colors. I was like, well, salmon brings out my eyes. I don't she was like, are you gay? I said, no, mom, I'm not gay. Are you gay? No, mom, I'm not gay. Are you gay? I said, no, mom. She was like, what's wrong? I said, mom, I think uh, I'm going to marry a white woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was like, being gay ain't all that bad. <laughs> we'll tell that joke, black women get mad. They were like, you ain't strong enough to date a black woman. And they talk with their vaginas. It's like, you ain't strong enough. <laughs> yeah. It's a dumb argument, you know. Like, why do I have to be so strong to deal with you? Nobody has to be strong to do something they like, you know? Like, nobody's like, I'm going to Six Flags, so be strong. <laughs> you know, be strong is how you deal with polio or uh, leprosy or uh, black women. I don't know, stuff like that. It's tough, though. You know, I was dating this black woman. I do hate black women. It's just a special kind. Uh, I call it Black Woman 2.0. Um, you're raised around number white people. Uh, and she does stuff that black women don't do, like uh, smile. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, the other day we were in the shower um, and she got her hair wet. Oh, yeah, exactly, no purpose. <laughs> right, and I was like, are, is this Narnia? Uh, are you a unicorn? I've never seen it. Like, you hear about it, it's like a female orgasm, you never see one. I was like, oh man. But it's, it's tough, you know, it's tough. I'm saying this, you know, last thing, you know, the hard thing about dating for me is I'm a comic and uh, I'm not all that politically correct, as you can tell. And I was dating this one chick and she came in all mad, saying, Trenton, you ain't gonna believe what happened. Wow. And I was like, well, first of all, why are you talking to me with spirit fingers? <laughs> but you know, so I was like, what happened? And uh, you guys for me with the Cracker Barrel restaurant. She was like, well, a uh, black woman got beat up by a white man at the Cracker Barrel. Exactly. I giggled a little bit. I chuckled. I thought it was. I thought it was a bit ironic, right? A little bit. She got mad. Like, are you saying it's okay to beat up black women? I said, no. I'm sorry. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, but if I had to choose a location, like the Cracker Barrel would be it. Like there'd be no better place to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, sir, if you don't mind me, let's say you went to a restaurant called. Um, I, I don't know, nigga bucket. <laughs> like, wouldn't you expect to get beat up at the nigga? Right? Like, the chicken would be phenomenal at the nigga bucket. The service would suck. Uh, excuse me, I've been waiting 45 minutes. You will wait another 45 minutes. Hey, guys, I'm Trent Davis. Thank you. <laughs>